Hello and welcome to Claire's Court Does Taskmaster. Well, this is it. 10 weeks, over 100 Claire's Court families, over 300 entries and this is the final episode. Now before I get too emotional, we're going to go straight onto the montage. This was Talent Week. So basically I just asked you if you'd be impressed if I told you I can speak backwards. I can fluently speak backwards. Yeah, absolutely no use whatsoever. Apart from in spelling, it's quite helpful for spelling. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that one.
winning and my skill is football. Let's see some of my moves. Oh, oh. oh good one. So my favourite this week was Mr Bowen's Cosmopolitan. It's cocktail hour. Welcome to Mr Bowen's bar. I'm going to make you a Cosmopolitan. First thing, bit of ice, cool the glass down. Bit of ice in the cocktail shaker. Next, some lime juice, not freshly squeezed. Topped up with some cranberry juice. Into the shaker. Shakey, 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 shake. Line the glass with some lime juice. Give it a swirl, cool her off. Open her up. And then we've got a beautiful Cosmopolitan. And then, just to finish off, a little bit of uh, orange and a slice of lime. Sante. Not only was the outfit absolutely on point, but that Cosmopolitan looked like one of the finest that I have ever seen. So, cheers to that, Mr Bowen. This week, there were some amazing entries. There's a lot of talented people at Clare's Court, but our winners have to go to the Payne Brothers. absolutely inspirational playing to my um strengths not strengths because i can't play the guitar but playing to what i love the chili peppers bit of bass guitar flea you know what i'm talking about do you like it so my favorite this week were the many and various talents of the miller brothers
Hello, and Edwin's going to do a demonstration where he's going to catch food in his mouth. I'm going to have food here. I'm going to throw it to him, and he's going to catch it in his mouth. All right, so let's go. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And now, have the next week is strawberry. Okay, I'm going to throw it to him now. All right. Amazing. And now the next one is the orange. No, no, that's him. Alright. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. And now and now we have a rugby ball, a mini rugby ball. Okay? I'm gonna throw it to him now. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a porky. Okay? Boy's a genius. Absolutely amazing. It's a wrap. Art, filmmaking, catching things in their mouths. Is there anything these boys can't do? Absolutely wonderful. Loved it. Thank you very much. So my favourite entry this week had to be from Mrs Walton. If only I had some really cool, really comfy and really colourful scrubs to wear to work. Oh. I'm not Sharon's got talent with scrubs and scones. Help! Cake baking, one of my talents. Oh, Sharon, these scones are so good. Sharon, you're a Wonder Woman. Hey. <laughs> This really was a wonderful entry, marvellous. And Mrs. Walton, you've been absolutely fantastic. We're really gonna miss you. I think this was one of your best entries and you'll always be our Wonder Woman. I'd like to reiterate what Mr. Hudson said there. Another wonderful week from Wonder Woman who's been sensational all the way through the series. But is that enough? Let's have a look at the overall leaderboard, shall we? I'm too sexy for my love, too sexy for my love, love's going to leave me. So congratulations to the Queen of Taskmaster, another brilliant week and a sensational series overall. Well done mom, fantastic. Um, it's also worth mentioning, however, several other competitors, such as the Webster Brothers and Will Gent, who joined the competition late. In fact, if you take an average of all competitors who uh, entered for six weeks or more of the competition, the leaderboard would look a little bit different. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Whichever way you look at it, it's been great fun. The Queen of Taskmaster, Mrs Walton, thank you very much. The King of Taskmaster, Mr Bowen, amazing. The Princes and Princesses, Will Gent, the Webster Brothers, uh, my own children, Hugo Allies, uh, the Robertsons, the Newtons, the Bing Maddox. There's so many names I could mention. So many of you been, have been so brilliant all the way through. So I'd like to thank you all for all your entries throughout the series. Um, thinking of entries throughout the series, Taskmaster Gang, which were your favourite moments? So my highlight of the series, it, this was a really, really tough job to do. Um, I think I have to give it to the Websters um, because their entries have just been inspiring and a real um, pleasure to look forward to each week. And I think the one that I liked the best actually was the throw something where they, well, kicked or threw the rugby ball over the roof and then Tom caught it. I think teamwork, determination, I don't know how many efforts that must have taken but the delight on Tom's face and his roar when he caught it in the bucket, that won it for me. Well done, boys. There's so much that I've enjoyed about Taskmaster, taking part in Taskmaster, seeing my colleagues take part in Taskmaster. But I think for me, overwhelmingly, it's been lovely to see the faces of our Claire's Court community on the different sites. So 
seeing people from the juniors, seeing people from the girls' site, and all of the effort that you've put into some really top entries. It's been fabulous. I've really, really enjoyed that. I think the moment that stands out to me the most is actually learning about the many and diverse talents of the one and only Mr. William Gent from 7D. I mean, I knew the boy could rap. I didn't know that he could drum. I didn't know that he could bake such fantastic cakes. And I certainly didn't know that he did a very convincing impression of a blues brother. So I've loved finding out all of those different things that you can do, William, and I look forward to you reenacting some of them in class and also making us a cake. So well done to you. So favorite moment of Taskmaster. We are so excited, I'm sure you can tell. Firstly, a massive thank you to Taskmaster General, Mr. Westbeezer. That is now his new name around school. Whatever you think, you are allowed to say that. You will not get a default or a detention. Taskmaster General Westbeezer. So thank you to Mr. Hudson, Mrs. Ging, absolute legends. Uh, thank you to the one and only Bella Dog. She's loved it. But our moment of the series is between two teachers. Mr. Bowen, Mrs. Walton, you have thrown yourself into every challenge and I commend you for the efforts that you have made. My winner or favourite moment of Taskmaster this season is Mrs. Walton just being mom. Congratulations, mom. For my own favourite, I've thought long and hard about this and I'd like to go back all the way to the first week of the competition when Zach Cheatham produced an image of Tower Bridge. Now, I don't know if that was the best entry throughout the whole series, but in the first week it was the one that made me go, wow, people are really buying into this and so much effort is going to be made. And you have, week in, week out, it's just been amazing. So Zach, thanks for that and everyone else, thanks, it's been brilliant. Thank you very much. So that's it. What a journey we've been on. I'd like to thank everyone that's taken part again and I'd like to thank really, really deeply the Taskmaster gang who've been there every step of the way with me, giving me support and helping me judge the competition. Thank you all very, very much and I'll see you in the next pandemic. Hopefully not though. OK, just before we go, one little message. The Taskmaster gang is about to um, open its doors to a new member, a little baby Hudson, which I'd like to offer my heartfelt congratulations to the Hudson family for um, looking forward to uh, meeting him or her. And just before we go, I've got an artist's impression of the baby just to see you off with. Congratulations, Hudsons. And thank you all. <laughs>